Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 379. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 377 to 380. Hey, we have some time in and time out for payroll. We need to calculate how many hours each person worked, but we need to round to the point one of an hour. This is in hours, one tenth of an hour. Now, what is one tenth of an hour? It's actually six minutes. So this payroll situation means you're always rounding to the six minutes. Now, I've done another video similar, but there we did round it to minutes. Here we want to round it to, to the uh, tenth of an hour. First, first thing is we want to calculate our time worked. These are times. Here's our later time, our earlier time. I'm going to highlight the whole range with our formula in the active cell at the top. I simply do my time calculation, standard time, always the later time minus the earlier time. Now, if you have night shift, I have a, a link down here that shows um, how to do night shift. But this is your basic time formula. Now, I have the whole range highlighted, so to enter this formula into all the cells, I hold Control and tap Enter. Now, that's formatting, so I'm going to Control 1 and go back to General. Time. This is how much we worked. Proportion of one 24-hour day, we worked 0.29. So to get that to hours, since that's a proportion of one 24-hour day, I simply take that proportion times 24. This 24 is a number that never changes, so it's OK to type it right into your formula. Control Enter to populate all the cells. Now, here's our increment, and we need to round. We're going to highlight the whole range, and in the active cell, the light colored cell, I'm going to put my round function. Now, the trick here is we're actually going to take our hours for our number and divide by our increment. This will give us how many uh, increments uh, there are with some fraction left over. So the way to get rid of the fraction is comma, we're using the round function, right? Number of digits. Zero means we round to the ones position, or the dollar, or in our case, the uh, uh, the integer. Close parenthesis, but that's not going to do it. Remember, we divided here, so then we have to multiply this whole thing times the uh, increment right there. And I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it going down, because we need that lock. Control Enter to populate all those cells, and sure enough, this is properly rounded to the 7.1. This one's 7.1. This one's properly rounded to the 4.2. Now, round is real nice, and there are some advantages to it. If you have M round, which uh, you can see this video to download um, a more funk add in that has 66 functions, simply use M round equals M round. Take your number comma, and then no messing around with the divide and by and multiplying. You just, boom, get your increment, and it will do the rest. It's called multiple. Close parentheses, and then Control Enter to populate all your cells. All right, uh, rounding to the one-tenth of an hour. We'll see you next trick.